From the Paramount in Huntington, Long Island, New York, it's time for another edition of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing Rockin' Fights 21. Hi again, everybody. Randy G, the Commish. And I'm joined tonight by not just gentleman Jerry Cooney, but a man by the name of Barry Michael. He comes from down under, the same place that Zach Dunn, the Zach attack, the thunder from down under comes from. He's in our main event tonight. Nobody knows more about Zach Dunn than the man who used to be the IBF super featherweight champion and is now the manager of Zach Dunn, Barry Michael. Welcome to New York. I've, I know I've just got to say, it's an absolute honor to be between Jerry Cooney and Randy Gordon here in uh, in Huntington. It's a real pleasure. Well, I want to tell you, too, it's also nice to know that you've kind of moved up to light heavyweight. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 actually, I actually think I could be the shortest cruiserweight in the world. <laughs> there you go, bro. <laughs> well, you manage a guy who is 18-0 right now, Zach Dunn, who ha all his fights have been by you in Australia. You guys are 10,200 miles from home. How has he made the adjustment? How does he feel? Now, look, Zach is one of those guys, He's nothing seems to bother him, but you've got to remember he had 170 amateur fights, fought in, lived in Cuba, trained with the Cuban national team, lived in Thailand, fought there, fought in India, Russia, Kazakhstan, fought all over the world. So experience, he's had phenomenal experience. He ended up number two in the world as an amateur, and as a professional, 18 fights, 18 wins with 15 knockouts. Well, tonight he's in against Derek Finley, who comes to us in, in the 11th hour, if you will because Dennis Douglin got hurt, and they put in Derek Finley, a veteran, at the last second. Uh, how did you feel about taking the fight? How did Zach feel? Is he ready to go? He's certainly ready to go, but he was probably happier about it than I was, because, I mean, we trained to fight at Southpaw and Dennis Douglin. Um, you know, we, we had Southpaw sparring uh, out in Australia, and also here when we first got here, and then, you know, the opponent gets a busted eardrum, and we have to take Derek Finley, which is, you know, he's a short, tough guy who's really, you know, he's probably underrated. He gives everyone a war. If you look at the fighters he's been the distance with, including Andre Ward, he's fought everyone. Um, it's, look, we know that he's going to come to fight. He doesn't take a backward step, and uh, it's, it takes a good fighter to stop him. He's only ever been stopped once, and that was in the first round by a light heavyweight, Edwin Rodriguez, I think it was, who's... I think he's uh, 27 and 1 now. Right. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be, we, we expect a tough fight. We do. And, you know, these are the things that fighters have to walk through. You, we've all been through it. Fights <laughs> fall down, we stand up, we find a new opponent, and we make adjustments, and that's what we have to do. Jerry, you're so, you, you know, you're so right there. It's, you know, it's, we've got no choice. We have to do, we have to take this fight on. Hopefully, Zach will shine. I mean, it's a, it's a big occasion. I'm probably a lot more nervous than Zach, to be honest, but uh, let's hope all goes well tonight and we'll see some, a great fight. You bet. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we have a little fun tonight, and if you're not going to work the corner, while Jerry and I are doing the commentary, why don't you sit in, never had a fight manager sit in and do a fight, call his own fighter's fight, unless you get, if you get a little bit too rambunctious, Jerry will give you his, his <laughs> left hook. I don't want that left hook. I remember seeing that left hook demolish fighters like Ron Lyle and Ken Norton. I certainly don't want that on me. Well, I, <laughs> I want to tell you, as being a former fighter myself, when the bell starts ringing, I don't see no punches coming from you. <laughs> you won't, don't worry. Well, tonight it's going to be Zach Dunn making his American debut and making his debut right here on Joe DeGuardia's Rockin' Fights 21 is going to be his manager and former world champion Barry Michael from Down Under. We look forward to it. Zach Dunn, the Zach Attack, coming up next. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. And we're back with more of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing Rockin' Fights 21. This is the main event in the 168-pound division between Zach Dunn and veteran Derek Finley. I'm Randy G., the commish, along with gentleman Jerry Cooney. 
We are being joined at ringside. It's our privilege to have with us the former IBF junior lightweight champion, Barry Michael. He'll be calling all the action of this fight with us. And let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Zach Dunn, all the way from Melbourne, Australia, is squaring up against Derek Finley from Chicago, Illinois. Dunn, with a record of 18-0 with 15 knockouts, takes on the veteran Finley, who has 39 fights under his belt, with a record of 22, 16, and one draw. He has 14 knockouts in his record. We caught up with both fighters at the weigh-in. Here is what they had to say. Uh, training for me is a lifestyle. I do it daily. I don't, you know, sit around and get fat. And, you know, they, when they call me for a fight, then I try to get, you know, I'm always ready. So I was, I was ready, you know, uh, opportunity for me to fight this Australian sensation guy, uh, Zach. Let's, let's, I'm ready, you know. Uh, I don't understand how he's a sensation. He's, he hasn't even been hit with a real solid punch yet. And everybody's assuming that he's just the deal. Uh, you know, but you know, that's, that's boxing politics. That's how people are. Eric uh, Finley, um, he fought a couple of weeks. He fought a couple of weeks ago, so he's fit and ready to fight and he was able to step in when Dennis couldn't. Um, I've watched, uh, I've watched a couple of, couple of his uh, previous fights and he's shorter than I am, so he, he's going to come forward and he's going to bring the fight towards me. Let's go up to ring announcer David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Paramount here in Huntington, New York, USA, we are set to go with the main event of the evening. And it's all being brought to you by Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing scheduled in the light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears black and gold. He weighed in at 165.8 pounds. His professional record, 21 victories, 16 defeats. He has one draw and 13 wins coming by way of knockout. From Merrillville, Indiana, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Derek Superman Finley. Finley. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He wears blue with white trim. He weighed in at a ready 168.2 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 18 fights, 18 victories, 15 of them coming by way of knockout. From Melbourne, Australia, ladies and gentlemen, he is the current IBO super middleweight champion. Tonight, engaging in a non-title fight, please welcome Zach, the wonder from down under, Dunn. Dunn. Good evening, gentlemen. You received the rules early in the night. I expect you to obey these rules. Let's have a nice, clean fight. Touch gloves. Good luck to the both of you. Touch Here we go, 10 rounds. Main event, round number one, Zach Dunn, 168 pounds. Same thing as his opponent, Derek Finley. I'm Randy G, joined at ringside by my colleague at Sirius XM Radio, gentleman Jerry Cooney. And Jerry, it's our pleasure to have at ringside former IBF junior lightweight champion, Barry Michael. And Barry, you are here not just to join Jerry and me, but because you are the manager of Zach Dunn. I am the manager of Zach Dunn and uh, I look very excited to be here. It's a great honor for me to be sitting between you two guys, Randy Gordon and, and Jerry Cooney. I you know, know about both your histories, but I was a great fan of Jerry when he was boxing. Uh, but look, a great honor to have Zach Dunn fighting tonight. Uh, late substitute with Derek Finley, not really what we planned because we were going to fight a Southpaw, a uh, taller guy. Um, and we've got a tough, tough journeyman here in Derek Finley who 
has been the distance with some of the very best fighters in the world. So we're, we're not expecting an easy fight, Jerry. And he sure has. He's been there with just about everybody. And he's been with all tough, top guys. I mean, he's had no slouches. So he's uh, won some, lost some close fights, but won a lot of good fights. And, and uh, your guy looks great in the back dressing room. Attitude was great. Looks in great shape. And like you said, he wants to fight. He loves to fight. A lot of experience, 170 on amateur fights, undefeated as a professional. Um, I haven't really ever seen him fight a guy this short. He's a great body puncher, that guy. He's a very strong body puncher. Well, uh, you know, you said body punching, and Jerry's eyes lit up because Jerry just was a big fan of body punching. I know he was. I've seen him break many a guy's ribs. Well, because Baron Michael's also a great body puncher. And so we love body punching. We, we do. And, uh, Zach Dunn's trainer, Danny Kay, was one of my sparring partners. He taught Zach how to body punch. Oh, a lovely shot. And this is going to be fun. Oh, yes. big body punch. Big body punch. We are not used to this, Jerry. We are not used to sitting here with the manager of the fighter. So, just about at any time, I'm ready for Barry to jump up. Nice look by Derek Finley. Yeah, good hook, good countering hook. Good body jumps from Zach. Look, Zach, Zach likes to start fast. Barry, it looks like he has the, the floating knee with a shoulder roll. Is that what you've seen that? Um, I'll try to work him with the shoulder roll. I'd like to see him use it more. He can do it when he wants to do it. Look, you know, Zach at times gets a bit careless. That's probably his biggest flaw, but he's a 24 year old. He's a young man. And a very big opening round here. Well, I'll tell you what, he sure does like to fight. But he's doing just that. Now, Derek Finley has a 22 and 16 record. But in those 16 losses, only two times has he been stopped. One of those times in the sixth round by Andre Durrell. So there is just one tremendous name. And the other one who stopped him was about four years ago, Edwin Rodriguez, Leon another Love. top name. Yep. So, I mean, guys just don't stop him. Nice. And if Zach can accomplish that tonight, that in itself is quite a feat. It would be certainly a feat. And I mean, he's gone the distance with Jesse Hart, Gilberto Ramirez, who's 25 and 0, and, and an absolute beast. Curtis Stevens, Jay Leon Love, Elvin Ayala. He really is a tough guy. He really is a tough man. Andre Durrell. Andre Durrell, he retired after six rounds. I actually spoke to Mike, Mike Jimenez, who uh, lost to him in the seventh round. It was called a no contest after the fight because uh, Finley tested positive for a substance. But uh, he said to me, he said he's the toughest guy he ever fought, Mike Jimenez. Well, we, you know, we, we love to see Zach Dunn throwing those body shots. And of course, the safety mats, which are placed underneath each of the fighters to absorb all of the moisture. It's just an incredible uh, piece of equipment that's being used here in New York now. Let's go off to Tom Cloesti for that. I love it, and I've got to take it to Australia, because we haven't got it there. As you can see, he's a big banger. What a display so far by Zach Dunn. Like you said, sometimes he leaves himself open. He's got to yes. be careful. Yeah, he's a bit careless at times. That's his biggest flaw, but he's a very strong puncher. And now Zach, I think, hits the tape at about six feet tall, right? He's six foot tall, six foot tall. He looks a lot taller than that. He, um, as I said, he had about 170 amateur fights, fought in and lived in Cuba fought with the Cuban national team, uh, lived in Thailand, fought there, uh, India, uh, Russia, fought all over the world. Oh, shit! He nice dropped hook. his right hand. Oh, by Derek Finley! No, it was a left hook. Down goes Zach Dunn. As you were talking about his amateur experience, I actually saw that right hand coming down. I said, ooh, he's keep about to run down. into it. He needs to keep his head down. He's still got that right hand down. Well, Let's no, see if he, he can get back to work. Out. He pulled straight out. Yes. It's only the second time he's been down in his career. But a very big left hook from Derek they get, Finley. They get them hands up. And all of a sudden, Zach knows he has come to America and he is fighting a veteran who is not in here to lose tonight. No, he's in here to win, Finley. We realized that. We knew it was going to be a tough, dangerous opponent. Zach needs to be careful. He needs to be to take his time. He can win it by using his re height and reach. He needs to watch that countering left hook. Yeah, he's leaving his hands down a little low. Zach Dunn is... Yes, uh, yes. It's always Barry. been a worry with, with Zach, but he's 
he's always been so tough. I mean, he's walked through opponents for so many years, but uh, that was a crashing left hook from Finley. Now Finley's got uh, 14 KOs in his 22 wins. Oh, get them hands up. Finley is saying, trade with me here. Trade with me. Finley's, Finley's waiting on that countering left hook. Gun Zach needs to keep his hands up. Out of Finley's 22 victories, 14 have come by knockout. Obviously, with it, mainly with that left hook, I would imagine he's cracking left hook. Looks like uh, Derek Finley's just waiting for that left hook. Yes, he is. You can see, look at Zach's right hand. Great body shots by Jack Dunn. Looks to me like Derek Finley wants to make this a war of attrition. You hit me, I'll hit you, I'm gonna wear you out. That's what it is at the moment. It's certainly a war of attrition. A few seconds remain here in round number two. Oh, wow. Hey, boxing fans, come out for a live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. This is round number three, super middleweight battle between undefeated Zach Gunn out of Australia and Derek Finley out of Chicago, Illinois. Randy G at ringside along with gentlemen Jerry Cooney and Barry Michael, the Former IBF super lightweight, uh, super featherweight champion, 130 pounds. And Barry, what would you like to see your fighter do? Would, would you like to see him hang on the inside like that or get on the outside and do that? I'd like to, I'd like to see him use, he's keep using his jab at a distance. He's, he, he's, you know, boxing well. Use the body punches, but he's got to watch that countering left hook up close. He's got, he's got to keep his chin down. He's got and to stay keep out, his chin down, his right hand up. You know, Finley's waiting. He's an old pro. He's just yeah, waiting for he's, that, he's that hand to come down. Jerry, he's definitely waiting. There it there is again. again. Can't take those shots for long. Who is training Zach right now? Danny Casey's trainer, who's, as I said, Chins one of up. my old And again. Players. He needs to keep that right hand down. Look, his head's up. He's got to keep that chin down. Danny needs to emphasize it at the end of the round. Good jab from Zach Dunn. Hand goes right down. Finley, one tough cookie, as I said. He, he takes a lot of punishment. 14 knockouts, like we talked in his 22 victories. He can certainly punch. <clears throat> Zach's last fight took place June of this year when he fought oh. Max Bursak, 31 and 3, going into the fight and won a 12 round decision over him in Victoria, Australia. And was that was, a one sided fight? No, it wasn't. Um, Max Bursak, very good opponent, only lost to three of the best in the world. And he actually was the first man to put an eight count on Zach with a right hand in the second round. So uh, it was the same sort of territory and Zach uh, recovered from that and went on to win a unanimous decision. So I'm just hoping, I mean, he's Finley making those punches slide off the shoulder well. Big right hand Nice right Zach. hand by Zach. Good jab, he needs to use that jab. This is going to be a war. Apparently, oh, when good. Zach is on the outside using that jab, he's doing so well. Yes. It's on the inside like that that he keeps getting tagged with that left hook. Look, I was when this the opponent was changed. I was t totally against it, to be honest, because uh, I realised how what a tough guy Finley is, and he's short and nuggety. And you know, Zach's used to fighting taller guys. Um, and we were, we trained for a southpaw. We trained for a month to fight a southpaw. Look where his right hand still is. Here is round number three, comes to an end. Dunn oh. against Finley. A good round. Another good, good round, round action round. Finley came on. Yeah, it's probably it's probably two rounds to Dunn, one to, uh, obviously one to Derek Finley with that knockdown, 10-8. Ooh. 
So those safety mats again underneath both fighters. Thing is, Finley is not even sitting down. He never sits down. And that is something I don't like because let's say you stand up for 10 of the rounds and all of a sudden when you have to sit down, you're almost telling your opponent, I am tired, now I've got to sit. It doesn't matter what you're telling your opponent. You got to sit, you got to sit. Now I believe that- You guys are uh, in the fight. Finley has to make an adjustment. Not, not Finley, Dunn's got to make an adjustment here, uh, Barry, to get I that agree, chin down, yep. keep his hands up and discipline himself with the jab. He needs to work the jab. He needs to watch that countering left hook. Finley's going to be there all night, I can see that now. It's that left hook again yep. by Finley. And it looks like Dunn have, has to straighten out on that right hand a little bit. He's, he's throwing it around the corner. He, he sort of curls his right hand, but against taller opponents, it's very effective. But that's another thing I was worried about against the shorter opponent, you know? And there's six inches here. Finley is about five, six. Yes, Zach he's five, Dunn, six, he's six, six feet. feet. He's moving quite well now, Zach Dunn is. See, there's that but here comes sloppy the right hand curl. again. Finley's Veteran Arthur McCandy Jr. The referee tonight. Good left hook from Finley and Zach Dunn countered with a good right hand straight away. And nice you're talking shot. about body shots. By Derek vicious, Finley. Yeah. vicious body shot from Finley. This has to hurt watching, doesn't it, Barry? It's hurt. It, it is. It's. I'm very, very worried at the moment. I can assure you. In a typical Ron Katz war. I don't think Ron Katz can help himself when he puts nice matches together. By Zach Dunn. Finley's not going to take a backward step all night, I don't think. Some that hook again. The hands Finley up. putting that pressure on, eats a couple of right hands, left hands, and keeps coming in, looking for body shots of his own. And of course, that left hand, that left hook which dropped on in the second round. An absolute bomb, and it's, it's always there. There it is again. Rolls with those shots, fin well Finley. Oh, Finley loaded up on that left hook. And watch when Zach Dunn throws his left hook, how Finley picks it off, keeps that right hand high, and picks it off on his arm. Nice body shot by Dunn. Needs to keep working the jab and keeping his distance. A few jabs, pouring with the jabs as Finley tries to keep out of the way. Then a right hand by Dunn. Now Dunn back to work again. Got to watch dropping that right hand. That time he took a left hand underneath. Yeah, good body shot from Finley. His work rate's still good. He's still going well. But uh, he's just got to watch that left hook. That left hook's going to be a danger. All the way through. All my life. All, All my life. Long. It's round number five, Zach Dunn with the red shoes and the veteran Derek Finley in the gold and black trunks, higher. black shoes. Yeah, they must be telling him to play. Dunn has been keeping the right hands up all this round. What a war we got going on here. Super middleweight, 168 pounds. That left took a little bit. Dunn is. Finley a good body puncher too. He's, he's, and he's doing it. He's blocking a lot of those shots. But Dunn is also getting them in. Nice right hand. Get caught with the left hook again. It looks to me like Zach is waking up a little bit. Yeah. It looks like he needed that wake up. Well, it happened against uh, Bursak, the exact same thing. But I think this was a, a, a heavier knockdown, actually. Another hook by uh, Mr. Finley. And so Dunn went down in that fight too? Yes, in the second round. 
that was intense. maybe what you should do from now on is just go from round one to round number three. <laughs> good idea. Good idea, Randy. But uh, good Ooh. body shot. Yes, these guys are training heavy body shots. Better defense for John. Nice, nice left jab by Zach Dunn. Started so well in the first, Zach Dunn, didn't he? You know, had a massive first round. Well, two guys that Derek Finley went to a decision with, and it was back to back. It was in March of 2013, he lost a decision to prospect Jaleon Love in Michigan. And then a few months later, he took on at Madison Square Garden, Curtis Stevens, the yes. hard hitting Curtis Stevens, went to took distance. some of his best shots yep. and went to a decision. Yep. So you just have a feeling that he may be able to eat everything that Zach could throw at him and keep coming back. Undoubtedly, uh, Randy, I was aware of that before this fight. I knew that this guy was going to be incredibly durable. Uh, Mike Jimenez, who fought him, told me the same thing. He said it was the hardest fight he's ever had. And he's very patient. Yes. Finley is. He's very, very patient. smart. Sits there with the hook just waiting for that yeah, hand to drop. Experience. Riding those shots well at this stage, Zach, it was good. Good pace fight. Good exchange from both these guys yes. this round. Is Zach boxing better now? Getting the points this round, the way I see it. Round number five comes Ooh. to an end in another action round, and they tap each other. Show, uh, a show of respect. Bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Good to see. At the end of round number five. And these are very close rounds. Yes, there's not a lot Some in the round. Probably, from the way I see it, just probably the work rate of Zach may be edging him the round. I think the fight could be his draw right now, so far. He's got six to go. Five to go, sorry. How are you, sir? Good, my dear. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And it's round number six. Here at the Paramount in and Huntington, Long Island. Now both, both Zach Dunn against Derek Finley in a 10-round war. With Zach Dunn being dropped in the second round, dominating the first, getting dropped in the second, and now it has turned into a you punch me, I'll punch you. Yeah, it's certainly it's seesawing. I, you know, I think maybe Zach's you know, pinched the last couple of rounds with his work rate. Uh, but Finley, Finley is making a lot of the shots, rolling a lot of the shots off his shoulders. Always dangerous, right till the end with that left hook of his. And they both look very fresh still going to this round. Yeah, Zach's incredibly fit. He's had a very long, tough training camp. Trained down in uh, Miami with uh, Pedro Diaz. Had some great sparring down there. Will Good Zach work. be living here now? No, we'll be going back to Australia. They leave on um, on Monday, but we, you know, providing everything goes well, we'll be back. And you know, no matter how this goes, I know this. I do want to see Zach again, and I do want to see Derek Finley again. Not necessarily against each other, um, but if they did make it again, I wouldn't mind. And I know you would say, "No, oh, no way. My God. What, we what, don't need this." Big bomb bite. Big one by Finley, yeah, but you know, the majority of the scoring shots still, I think, from Zach. Zach Dunn, nice little body shot there from Finley inside. Nicely tucked up, tight. Man, he's a tough cookie. He is one tough cookie, this guy. Now he's going to come back with his left hook. Yes. Bang, right there, just tried it. Yeah. Dunn is coming right back, firing strong. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Better getting out of the way of that tremendous left took by uh, Finley. Definitely, you know, picking up the points this round, Zach. Zach Dunn. <clears throat> but how did the officials score it? True, true. Heavy blows or? 
Jerry, have you been keeping a scorecard? I have been. How are you saying it, Jerry? I have it. Could be. It could be even. I got. I got. That one sounded got a little bit ahead, but it could be even call right now. It was more of a slap. That one sounded. It was more right, like you said, more of a slap. That's what Zach needs to do. He needs to be more side on, using that jab. Finley hit him with another left hook. Yep, yep, yep. That left hook's a winner for Finley. Oh, oh nice, nice. Right hand by Big. Finley, then he came back with a left hook. Big right hand. Bad place for Zach to be on the ropes. Bunch of shots there by Zach Dunn. Many of them picked off by Finley. I right hand him. gets in by Dunn. A slapping left hook by Finley at the bell. Oh. Another competitive action round wow. here at the Paramount. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Well, on my scorecard, I've got Zach ahead by four points, 68-64. I can tell you're a better, better judge than Jerry, can I? <laughs> I think it's a little closer than that fight. How close. about this? You take one of those rounds that I gave to Zach instead of 68 64, and you switch it the other way. It's 67 Get them hands 65, up. and you got yourself a real close fight. Good punches from Zach Don, and good punches back from Finley. Got hope with a good hook right there. Oh, man. By Finley. What punches? Unbelievable shots. Some unbelievable shots by both fighters. And Barry, and what, I know you'll agree with this. You never want to see your fighter in the fight of the year because that means it's a two-sided fight. You want a one-sided fight. Zach Dunn is doing some great, great shots this round. Yes, he, he's landed. He, I think solid he's, shots. I think he's. I think he's hurt Finley with body shots. I really but think he Finley hurt Finley. Finley still has plenty of life in him. Yeah, but he hurt Finley with some bo good body shots for sure. Don't count this guy out. Look at that. He keeps he, launching those hooks. He right needs. He needs to be. Finley. Waiting for those clean shots. Got a cut on Zach Dunn somewhere. Oh, those hooks are finding a home for Derek Finley. This is a war, isn't it? It's an unbelievable war, this. You oh, just again. never want to see a fighter in a fight like this. And oh. Barry Michael sitting with us, watching his fighter go toe to toe. Zach just looked over here at you. Wondering what, probably wondering what I've got him into. Yeah, like. And again, I think bad place. Nice combination for by Done to Zach be on Dunn. the inside. Good shots from Zach. Another good shot. Nice and again, what's that left hook? Still in the round. He's still right. in the round. I, I know so badly, Barry. You want to say, get that hand up. Do I ever? I'll tell you what, after this fight, I'm going to be working a lot more on defense with Zach, that's for sure. Well, you know, you are seeing a lot of things here that you can work on. He's got a lot of positives. Undoubtedly. Correct on the negatives. You know, I want to tell you something. He's making nice a oh, he's got Finley. He's got Finley hurt. Yes, he does. He's wobbling. Finley wobbling in the corner. Nice body work. Short punches. Zach cannot stand there. He's got to turn his hands loose. Finley. Using all the professionalism inside of him. Tries what to tie Dunn up now. Zach Dunn. Slides along the ropes, launches a left hand. Well, he's dangerous. Finley's dangerous all the whole night. Undoubtedly. What Finley a round. Finley's going to make it through another round. What a round. Comes back with the right Whoa. hand of the bell. Man, that is unbelievable stuff. What a round. Ooh. How much did that take out of Zach, though? That's a lot of punches, Ryan. What a round, what a fight. We are watching here tonight. Round eight coming up. This is scheduled for 10. Finley's still not sitting super down. Super middleweight Don, division. Sick. He's got blood in the mouth. Yes, I mean, that, that took a lot. That would have taken a lot out of him, that round. That's taken a lot out of him. 
unbelievable round. It is round number eight. The match being taken out of the safety match. And Zach Dunn against them, Derek Finley. A lot of door. respect between these two guys. Finley was hurt badly in the last round, but Zach threw so much into it. So, so many big punches. And then Finley came back at the end. Now you wonder, Finley took this on basically the 11th hour notice. Does he have the gas in the tank to do 10 rounds? And I think Zach has to realize that. Step on the gas and get this guy out of there. No, I know he's got this, he's in the tank because he only fought about a week, 10, about 10 days ago, stopping um, um, Antoine Eccles in three rounds. The veteran and Antoine Eccles was out of there in three, yes, in Indiana. So, you know, and the mail I get on him is he spars 16 rounds in the gym, most times he spars. So he, you know, he's one very conditioned guy, always ready to step in at the last minute. Well, I, I was, told, I was a little troubled, a little troubled by Zach John in the corner. He didn't want to talk to his corner. They wanted to help him out with a towel to wipe him down. He was pushing him away. Yeah, no, I think he was, he was probably not, he was probably not happy with himself, but he was physically sick as well. Which, uh, to be honest with you, I used to be. I used to vomit quite a bit between rounds. But, uh, you know, Barry, I always tell the guys, aim for the shoulder. Oh, big left hook from Finley. As we said, Finley, he's not out of it till he's out of it. Yes, definitely. They say and when you're shark fishing. Dunn comes fishing, right back. Dunn comes right back. They say when you're shark fishing, don't ever think that that shark is gone until it's gone. This guy is like that shark. Undoubtedly he is. He's one You tough. get him on the, on the hook, you pull him in, you, you rock him. He looks totally out of it, and then he comes back again. I think he's that, one tough cookie. I think that Dunn is walking Finley down. He's wearing him out. Round eight. Pace has dropped quite a bit. But Zach's mainly the aggressor this round. Keep that hands right up. hand still dangerously low. And that left Zach hook's still dangerous and... and Finley. Finley. Nice right hand by Dunn. Pressuring Finley, landing the jab well. Needs to be careful on the counter. Finley looking for that left hook at all times. Now, what now he needs to and assortment get of that right hand up. Dunn threw his first real right uppercut, which landed on the point of the chin. The right uppercut's usually one of his really good punches. He'd probably forgotten to use it after the first, the second round knockdown. Finley likes being a little, oh. patient, a little patient, then he throws that big left hook. Ooh. Finley's very patient, very clever. You gotta give him a nice, right, and then a right nice exchange, exchange of right hand. Wow, of what a fight. What a Ladies fight. And gentlemen, I want Hey, boxing fans, come out for a live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or Ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. And there are two rounds left in this fight. Can these guys finish on their feet? This could be, Jerry, the fight of the year here at the Paramount. Still got the fight in him, so there goes another left hook by Finley. Zach starts it fast with a few shots, then takes a few from Finley. Now Finley back on the outside trying to out jab the taller man with the longer the reach. A flurry on the inside by Zach Dunn, but Finley again comes right back. He's one tough man, as I've said. I knew this was going to be a war, I really did. I wasn't happy about it, but what do you do as a manager when your you know, fighter pulls out days before the fight? Good overhand right from Zach Dunn. A swing and a miss with the left hook by Finley, still looking to land that hook, Got which in the second round, is. he did it there. Second round, dropped on on the seat of his pants. No other knockdowns in this fight. Dunn comes right back. Beautiful shots from Zach Dunn. Finley comes right back. This is unbelievable action. Great action we're seeing here at the Paramount. Nice uppercut by Dunn. Yeah, that's a good shot of Zach Dunn's. He usually uses a more whistling right hand from Derek Finley. 
clip the whiskers, just clip the whiskers of Zach Dan. The voice of former IBF super featherweight champion Barry Michael, who happens to be the manager of Zach Dunn, I'm watching his man give and take against Derek Finley here at the Paramount on Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing Rockin' Fights 21. This has been a real give and take fight. How's that? It's been a, a, an action packed fight right from the first bell. And Derek Finley is everything that I thought he was going to be. They call him Superman, and uh, there's a reason for that. He's an old pro. And he knows how to hang around and throw those nice shots. And obviously you're going to go back into town and do some work on Dunn, keeping them hands up. Undoubtedly. And using that jab a little more effectively. Yep. Yeah, we've well, been working on the jab quite a bit. Um, but like you said, oh, he wants to fight. Oh, big right hand from oh, Finley, big left. Nice left hook by Dunn. Got nice right. hook. But Finley hangs in the oh. Right hand by Finley. And they trade again. Finley comes right back. Oh, look, Zach needs to right keep his hands us. up. Finley's not going anywhere, I tell you now. Finley's not going anywhere. He's too tough. Oh, Scott McKinney got himself. Right there. You see McKinney got himself pinned against the ropes there for a moment. Man, this is unbelievable action. Got to be close to the end of this round. What a round. Nine, round nine. Vicious right to the body from Dunn. Nice forearm to the head, five to go. Nice punches by Dunn to close the round out. And the round ends. Whoa, round Another nine. tremendous round. Whoa. There has been no let up in this fight. This round is going to come and go. Ladies and Dunn gentlemen, this is the 10th and final decision. round. Finley, Finley fights all around the country. Yes. No hometown favorite. Now this is where... Uh, Zach needs to be smart here. Be very careful. Use that jab in his box. He needs to be smart. Just box. Overhand right. Nice, right nice by Zach Dunn. The Zach attack. And again, vicious nice body, body shot. By Finley. Never a let up on Finley though. He gets hit with a shot. He comes back with a shot. Good Just like by that. Zach. Nice exchange by Zach is right. Oh. I know, Barry, you hate to see those left hooks. And again. I hate to hear that sound coming out of you, Barry, tonight. Tell you what, this has taste. been one of the most nerve wracking 10 rounds yeah. I've ever been involved in. Nice body shot with the left hook by Dunn. Let me tell you something, both these guys know they've been in a big fight. Do tonight. they ever? Nice body shot. Right Double. Nice uppercut. It was a right hand to the body, then a right uppercut by Dunn. Trying Finley's, to close this show strong. I've got him leading by seven points, but you never know how the judges are watching it. I've definitely got him in front, in front pretty well, but he needs to be cautious still. Finley's still got the power. I got See, he's, he still wants to fight Zach. He does. He just loves to fight, he loves to war. About midway in nice punch, the 10th and final round. By Zach Dunn. Big nice right body shot. They are, this is like a Rocky movie. This is a Rocky movie. This is one of the best fights I've ever seen. And you know, Derek Finley, a true credit to the sport, honestly. I mean, he's fought all these great fighters and been the distance with them. He is a warrior and a half. He is what you call a fighter, Jerry. There's not many fighters like this anymore, but Zach Dunn nice really, really Dunn. showing what he's got. Nice right hand by Dunn. Use that jab, move. Oh, 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 big left hook from Finley. Zach needs to just use the jab, the round. That's all. Just needs to use the jab One minute careful. left. One minute, One minute left. to go. Zach out punching him. 
And that's basically, this is a microcosm of just about every other round. A lot of action, but done beating to the punch. Takes a shot, then lands his own shot. Nice, nice exchange, guys. These Whoa. guys have made some fights. There's about 30 seconds to go. A little under in the 10th and final round. Brandon, this is fight oh, of the year. Oh, fight of the year for out. sure. This is one of the best fights I've seen in a long, long time. This is absolute war from round one to round 10. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Oh. Under 10. Five Big seconds Big finish now. by Zach. Big punches by Zach. Down. Oh. And the what a fight. fight. What a great over. fight. What a great fight. That is a credit to both men. My God, that you know was what? unbelievable. I would like to see the fans here throw things into the ring. Money. Yes. I can watch 30 I'm rounds of that fight. Money. Oh. What a great what show tonight. What a fight. Barry, oh. great to be with you tonight. Jerry, it's you my honor. A, a great tough guy in here to oh. fight. And he, and did, he did just that. Now let's go to David Diamante in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a nice round of applause out here for both of these fighters. Wow. After 10 rounds of action here at the Paramount, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. Kevin Morgan, 95 to 94 for Dunn. Told you. Robin Taylor. 95-94 for Finley. Oh. And Matt Ruggiero scores this bout 95-94 to 94 for your winner by split decision. And still undefeated, Zach, the wonder from down under, done. Close fight, good, good scores I thought, good scores. Wow. And right now, our Alicia Napoleon is going to be talking to a very happy, still undefeated, Zach Dunn. Alicia, take it away. Thanks, Randy. Wow, Zach, what an impressive fight. How does it feel to be debuting in America, signed with Star Boxing, fighting here at the Paramount with such an impressive win? Uh, it feels good, you know, like he gave me trouble towards the middle rounds, but, um, you know, I dug deep and brought it home in their later rounds, you know, I fought a good fight towards the end, and I, I brought home the victory. You know, you are the taller fighter tonight, and I noticed your opponent was in your kitchen, and you went toe-to-toe, -to -toe and you really had a slugfest. Was that your initial plan? I, I like to mix it up and fight a bit, but, you know, I should have I been moving outside a bit more because he's a shorter fighter, but... Yeah, you know, like, um, yeah, I like to try to bring an exciting fight to the crowd. Well, you showed a lot of heart tonight. And when you boxed, it was beautiful. When you brawled, you could show that you put your heart on that table. So congratulations on your victory tonight. And we welcome you to Star Boxing and the Paramount because you're going to become one of our new favorites. Joe, how do you feel about your superstar tonight? Well, look, it was a, a thrilling fight. You know, it had me on the edge of the seat. And that's, 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 you know, something you're looking for. It's a good, great um, inaugural fight in the United States for Zach. You know, he came across the world, came to the United States, he's been here for 10 days, working out, and it showed. You know what, the one thing that really showed, he's a crowd-friendly, fan-pleasing fighter. Very exciting, thrilling kind of fighter. He had the height, you hit it right in the head. He had the height, he had the reach, and yet he wanted to stay in that pocket and fight. Uh, I was pleased. And he came back from a knockdown. Came back, got off the ground, and did what he had to do. He showed the heart and courage that I expect him to have. I think I might start calling him Crocodile Dunn. <laughs> I think that's a sticker. I like that one. You know, Joe, you're known for a reputation of always having fighters that are here with a lot of heart and always put on a good show. So what's next for you? We have a couple of shows in December. The Barclays Center coming up. Turning Stone on HBO. We've got a lot of our fighters in action. Things are going good. I have a lot of good things in store. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you in that ring. Thank you so much for having me tonight, Joe. I had such a pleasure here. And Zach, I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Congratulations on your victory. Back to you, Randy. So what a card it was here tonight at the Paramount. It was Zach Dunn winning a split decision over Derek Finley.
for our entire team tonight, Lee Elman and Megan Riley and Alicia Napoleon. We want to thank Barry Michael. What a great job he did tonight here at ringside. Four gentlemen, Jerry Cooney. I'm Randy G. Thanks, everybody, for watching.